what is going on YouTube? This is Acid Root. So I'm going to review a collaboration EP slash mixtape by Ed Sheeran and rapper Yellow Wolf. Basically, this product is called the Slum Den Bridge, and it came out in the winter of 2012. The thing about this particular product is this is kind of an off-handed collaboration EP here. I wasn't expecting this one from Ed Sheeran and Yellow Wolf as far as that particular pitch kind of happens. Yep. Ed Sheeran particularly put out his debut project, which I want to say was called Plus or something like that, in like the spring or summer of 2012, and then he dropped Multiply in 2014 and pitches like that, and they continued throughout the 2010s. But it's an interesting concept. Supposedly, this is one of Ed Sheeran's initial products here, and it's also Yellow Wolf's follow-up project. It's one of the first ones he did after the hit album off of Eminem Shady's this is the hit follow up to his Eminem Shady Records debut Radioactive from the fall of 2011. So Yellow Whip did a series of products. I reviewed a number of these. There's a couple more like the Heart of Dixie that I want to get to. But it's just interesting just within the pitch because Yellow Whip is a pretty powder cake individual, but he was also pretty widespread just within the concepts of some of the stuff he did. He also did a collaboration mixtape with DJ Paul and Travis Barker, so those are two extra projects to kind of fuck with, and I've reviewed both of those, so you can probably check those out. You can probably check those out in, like, the Yellow Wolf reviews playlist, I'd have to say, but it's a good concept. This is a pretty balanced EP here. It's short, but I do like the concept of it being short and sweet. It's a good, dope enough concept. I, I want to say this is a free download, but just like that, it is at least on Spotify, but I'm getting the feeling that it's kind of free here, but it does have a single, which is a pretty dope concept. The thing about this particular stuff is you would think with Ed Sheeran's kind of folksy, kind of autumn brush-like music, like, for example, if you don't know the blown kind of stuff that Ed Sheeran would kind of do. I'd look after the concept, basically taking something of like My World Acoustic by Justin Bieber, or like uh, Believe Acoustic by Justin Bieber, some of those type pitches that he tend to drop in like the winter time that just had a lot more uh, acoustic soothing with like a wintry and autumn type brush. I'd have to say that's the sort of stuff that Ed Sheeran kind of does just in a more British type aspect behind it. I'd have to say, pretty good concept that I need to eventually review some Ed Sheeran solo albums as far as that pitch kind of goes. I'm at least somewhat familiar with Plus, at least that was 10, 10 or so years ago. I'd have to say it was a good enough console I'll have to get to some of those. But yeah, this is an initial project here just to be able to fuck with. Yellow Wolf is pretty much on fire on this particular product, as is Ed Sheeran. Some good pitches here. So this is kind of a balanced type project. I mean, this is going to get a pretty raised score. It's not going to get a 10 out of 10, but it's going to get pretty damn close just because of the concept. Originally, I thought that the fourth song tone was going to be a song that's really just an outro that just doesn't have much pitch behind it. But I do recommend three out of four songs on here. It was going to get higher than a 7.5 or 7.75 out of 10 just because of the fact that these songs are quality. And I kind of consider like the outro just kind of like gobbledygook, this leftover pitch as far as that particular thing kind of happens with it. It's not going to get a classic score, but it's going to get pretty close. So, so basically, the lead single would be you don't know for fuck's sake pretty good concept kind of get this one do appreciate this one it's like a folksy kind of autumn makeshift pep of a song i'd have to say in particular it's definitely like a good car traverse and like a steadfast type push i would have to say and this is a surprise gem for yellow wolf and ed sheeran i'd have to say so this is the concept once again this is before ed sheeran's true catalog started to happen for his breakout in like the spring and summer of 2012 as far as that pitch can happen but it's also a pretty good pitch for yellow wolf just because this gave him some commercial bite that he hadn't really had up to that point i want to say that radioactive at least a 10 it with songs like the song that he did with Kid Rock, like Let's Roll and some of those type pitches. But for the most part, Yellow Wolf was just kind of more of like a powder cake type personality still off of like his trunk music, Zero to 60, and the nastier type vibes that he had on radio, radio acting, some of those type pairs. So this is some of the commercial vibe that probably would have approached Yellow Wolf a lot later. It's an interesting concept, kind of get it. But this is definitely like some car makeshift, just kind of that ho-hum. And it's basically that ho-hum kind of groggy morning brunch type music as far as that pitch kind of goes along with it. Just some good Target and Starbucks type music. I'm not sure as to what stores that would be out in Europe that would kind of be similar to Target and Starbucks. So that's say just some coffee and kind of like matcha type music and pitches like that some of those type places frappuccino type music bookstore type music i'd have to say this is in a relative kind of commercial sense this is probably one of the yellow was most commercial hits around that particular time as far as what kind of happened with it but yeah i basically recommend the other two songs on here <clears throat> Both London Bridge and Faces are some other nice ones. So basically, London Bridge is a pretty nice one overall. This is a little bit more Southern Fry, but it's still good. London Bridge is not quite as commercial and quite as makeshift pep, I'd have to say. But it's like a Southern Fry kind of evening haze of a song, I'd have to say. This has mild focus brush, I would definitely have to say about it. And this is just kind of a stellar out in the wind kind of. This is just kind of a stellar out in the wind kind of outback gem. Yeah, London Bridge is just kind of a stellar out in the wind kind of outback gem, I'd have to say. Particular good concept. This one's a little bit more Yellow Wolf, more so than Ed Sheeran, I'd have to say, where I feel like You Don't Know is probably more Ed Sheeran than Yellow Wolf, but this one has a little bit more Yellow Wolf tinge type towards it. I'd say the London Bridge type chorus, I'd say the London Bridge chorus, Ed Sheeran does a pretty good job of making it like a Southern Fried type one. Basically what you'd get on like an Ed Sheeran hook on like a typical kind of Yellow Wolf album more within that pitch, but it's just kind of the concept that 
it's interesting to kind of get that. It's just like world meets world just within that relative picture, but it's a good concept. Kind of doesn't make too much sense that it's called London Bridge. Probably should be called, like, you'd almost think, like, Mississippi Bridge or something like that, but it is a good enough concept. And then Faces is a pretty nice one. It's like an in-motion kind of brisk stretcher, I would have to say, in particular. It's like a wanderlust kind of country fried out and about type tune, I would definitely have to say, and I would definitely say that Ed Sheeran nails this hook on here. Like some of the other ones on the set, like some of the other ones on this particular product that I was saying, this is a pretty bustling song. This one in particular, this is probably the most in motion of these. I feel like you don't know is kind of one that's just kind of more car centric type stuff, but just kind of basic kind of calm you just in like morning and brunch time. And I feel like London Bridge is just a little bit of like some tinge kind of outback stretching as far as that particular kind of goes. A little bit of brush of just hitting up gas stations, pitchings like that. Get some beef jerky, some pizza, some of those type fares, getting some swishers. But I had to say that Faces is really kind of more in motion. Maybe a little bit of Outback type Travers, just more things to kind of get done. Some errand type tunes and pitches like that. Just some bills to get paid and some of those type pitches. A little bit more vast Travers kind of in mind. But I do appreciate the concept behind these, I'd have to say. So it's just a dope enough type thing to kind of get on here. It's too bad that there's not like a more social type bounce off this particular project. It would have been nice to have gotten like a folksy kind of club hopper or something like that. Something more like something more like the single that Yellow Wolf did off of Radioactive that had Lil John on there. I forget what that one was called, like Hard White in the Club or something like that. That particular song that had Lil John on there. I want to say it was like the first single. Pretty good pitch to have kind of gotten that back on Radioactive back in late 2011. But I definitely feel like Yellow Wolf's relative ferocious kind of, I feel like Yellow Wolf's relatively ferocious kind of powder cake type personality is just more packaged on the go and just more pitches for like standard commute of just either evening or morning or brunch type makeshift as far as our particular one goes. And it's just not enough room for to really cut loose and get towards that full blunt. It's not enough to detract from the score, but I would have to say even like the four song tone on here kind of has like some relative bustling type ones. It's the worst variation of like London Bridge and bases, I'd have to say just the basic concept about it. But I just look at it, some good concepts here, just being able to say that. So the score I'm going to give this particular EP or mixtape, me recommending three out of four, three out of three and a half, just as far as those pitches going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and give this mixtape like a nine and a half out of 10. Really appreciate it that much, just the concept. I mean, all three of the songs are knockouts as far as that pitch can go. It's the only reason why it wouldn't be is just because it needed like a club song, something like that. If they'd replace tone, if they'd replace tone or the outro with like a nightclub type song or something with like that wintry kind of brisk brush that it probably could have had with Ed Sheeran on the hook and something like that that could have been Southern Fried or Folksy Fried as far as that pitch would have happened. I would probably give this project a 10. But a 9.5 is nothing to shake a stick out of. I'd say it's just a pretty good concept kind of fuck with that. The social score, though, that's kind of trickier. I think I'll give the social score like a 7.75 out of 10 because I feel like these songs are particularly good. There's some makeshift on here, some good traverse, some bitches like that just to get some errands done. This is a pretty wanderlust and driven type project to some aspects that's not really that lazy as far as that particular pitch kind of goes along with it. Even if it's Southern Fried and more countryside gaze and I still I still would have to say it's enjoyable but not as full blown as like typical kind of yellow wolf products or even Ed Sheeran products because I know Ed Sheeran even cuts loose on some of these just kind of more air and running and just get stuff done this wanderlust type stuff just within that countryside outback type stuff but it's a good enough concept so 7.75 social in terms of the future, like Ed Sheeran is supposedly working on some new music. Yellow Wolf just dropped a double. Yellow Wolf just dropped a double album in like June or May of 2024. So it's a pretty good pitch to kind of get that. Makes me wonder if he can handle a double album as far as that pitch kind of goes along with it. Ed Sheeran has had a number of hits. He's pretty, he's he's definitely, Ed Sheeran is definitely pretty huge in Europe. And that translated, uh, that translated to America in a lot of ways, particularly on the Divide album from 2017. I remember hearing tons of songs off that particular album. I need to retouch base with Ed Sheeran. I would I say it's pretty pack this is a pretty hit project here despite like the concept that it's not quite as social full-blown in terms of, like the affability behind the weekend appeal but i would have to say it's got some good kind of package to go and makeshift type commotion that works pretty damn well i'd have to say